There's also been a lot of discussion around um, Google Drive uh, web hosting. It really leads on nicely, and fingers crossed that Spencer has managed to get his system back up and running um, to some of the alternative um, places that you can uh, host things like images uh, for your add-ons and scripts. So uh, over to you, Spencer. We know that on uh, August 31st, Drive hosting is going to disappear. Uh, so which means if you're hosting images, um, JavaScript libraries, anything like that, they're going to quit working inside your, your add-ons and your scripts on the 31st. Um, there's a few uh, alternate and really good choices that you can use to host. And uh, I'll be going over one today. Uh, a big one that they just pushed, if you watch Google I.O., is uh, Firebase. It became part of the uh, Google family last year. And they made a big push at Google I.O. And uh, what part of this was uh, the introduction of Firebase hosting. So today we're going to take a look at uh, using Firebase hosting to host uh, assets for your app script projects. Firebase can be found. It's at firebase.google.com. The first thing to do to get started is there's a little bit of tooling that you need to get going. Firebase uses Node.js um, to run its command line tool. If you're on a Chromebook, um, there's, there's the tool doesn't work natively, but there's um, online sites that you can use, such as like Cloud9, which is uh, c9, c9.io. This is actually, a, it's an integrated, uh, it's a website that has an IDE built into it, and you'll be able to do, if you're on a Chromebook, you'll be able to fulfill all these steps and get this tooling going on there. So the first thing you need to do is install Node.js. And from there, you install the Firebase command line tool, and it's simply by running this command right here. And this command comes off of the Firebase documentation of how to in install the tool. And once your tool is installed, you're going to go back. You're going to go to Firebase.google.io and get a project. So let's do that. So we're going to come to Firebase. I'm already logged into this site using my Google account. So I'm going to go to the console. And I'm going to click uh, Create New Project. And we'll call this uh, Totally Unscripted live. We'll create that project. So this project um, is actually a, a developer's console project. It is the, the uh, Firebase console, the Cloud console, and the Dev console are pretty much, there are three separate tools, but they're actually kind of one with different interfaces that deal with different tools. So now we have a project already set up, now set up, in uh, Firebase, Our, the next step is to create um, a project folder, folder on your local development. So on my local machine, for example, I can come to my terminal, and I can make a directory called uh, my project. Working off the convention of the Firebase tools, you would make a public folder. For this demonstration, I got a couple images that we're going to host, and then we're going to link to in our app script project. So I know for I have on my desktop, I have some cat pictures. So you weren't kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I actually got some cat pictures. So uh, so here I I got some uh, cat pictures that I, I have them now copied into my public folder. So now I can use the Firebase tool. I'm now in my, the my, pro, my project folder. So you use this tool, Firebase. That's the command line tool. And you run Firebase init. And this will initialize uh, your project and sync it up with your console project. So now you'll see that it's written a, a couple of new files needed for uh, deployment. So now we just hit Firebase Deploy. 
we're in our we can go to our uh, our project our add-on this is just a, a quick little all this does is just serves up a, one uh, HTML page called index and there's our wonderful cat insider app skip project